Meghan Markle and Prince Harry fans have tried to cancel a critic of the couple, but it appears their efforts have backfired. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped away from royal duties at the beginning of last year. Following their departure from the firm, Harry and Meghan moved to the US where they are striving to live a financially independent life. They now live in Montecito, with their two children Archie, two, and six-month-old Lilibet. After their step away from duties, the couple took part in an explosive tell-all interview with US chat show host Oprah, where they made a series of seismic claims about their time as royals. During the sit-down chat in March, Meghan said there were conversations within the royal family about how dark their baby's skin might be. She said, in those months when I was pregnant, there were concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he was born. The person who allegedly made the comments was never named, with Meghan adding, that would be very damaging to them. Prince Harry also said he would never share the full details of the discussion. It was later revealed by Oprah that the Queen and the late Duke of Edinburgh were not responsible for the alleged comments. The chat show host told CBS this morning, he, Harry, did not share the identity with me but he wanted to make sure I knew, and if I had an opportunity to share it, that it was not his grandmother or grandfather that were part of those conversations. Diarist and royal commentator Richard Eden commented on the allegations on Twitter. On December 28, in a tweet to his 17.7k followers, he wrote, I genuinely worry that Prince Harry and hashtag Meghan's criticism of unnamed racist royals has increased the danger of attacks on the hashtag royal family. Security needs to be stepped up as a result. However, his tweet appeared to anger fans of Meghan and Harry, who often refer to themselves as the Sussex Squad, as Mr. Reedon confirmed that the tweet had been reported, but that he wouldn't be silenced, and would continue to speak about the royals. While a day later on December 29, Mr. Eden shared a screenshot of a message he had received from Twitter, notifying him that his tweet had been reported by fans of the couple residing in Germany. The message says Twitter is required by German law to provide notice to users who are reported by people from Germany via the Network Enforcement Act reporting flow. It later adds that the aforementioned tweet was reported, but that Twitter had found it was not subject to removal under the rules of the social media channel or German law. Mr. Eden captioned the screenshot with, Despite the best efforts of Prince Harry and hashtag Meghan's fans to get me cancelled, I will continue to speak my mind on hashtag royal issues. Mr. Eden's original tweet had gained a mixed reaction from royal fans, with some rushing to the defense of the Sussexes, while others appeared to agree with the commentator's views. User Tuppany Bunch wrote, I think you're right Richard, although it's a danger they live with daily. Mr. Eden's tweet came amid news that Scotland Yard had instigated a reorganization of the royal family's security arrangements, though there is no suggestion that reorganization has been prompted due to the Sussex's interview with Oprah. Police arrested a man who broke onto the private grounds of Windsor on Christmas morning, reportedly wielding a crossbow and scaling the fence of the outer perimeter. The man was arrested on suspicion of possession of an offensive weapon and breach or trespass of a protected site around 8.30 a.m., as the Queen was inside celebrating Christmas with Prince Charles and Camilla. The royal family had quite an eventful year. There were births, anniversaries, and that Oprah interview, as well as a few tragedies that changed the lives of the royals forever. Tragedies that changed